Forestry mulching machines. Yeah, they all clear land, but they don't all do it the same way. Pick the wrong setup and you're burning time, fuel, and money for nothing. Pick the right one and you'll get cleaner results, faster production, and less damage to your land. In this video, I'm breaking down the main types of forestry mulchers, from the big commercial rigs to the compact machines and even the little remote controlled crawlers. So by the end, you'll know exactly what's out there and which one actually fits your job. Most folks, when they think forestry mulching, they picture a skid steer with a fecon or an FAE head just chewing through trees. And honestly, that's fair. That's what most people see online. But the truth is, forestry mulching is a whole range of machines. You've got 700 horsepower commercial monsters built for clear cutting hundreds of acres. And on the other end, you've got little remote control units that crawl up 60 degree slopes without anyone in the cab. Every one of these machines has its lane, and the difference between a clean, professional job and a total nightmare comes down to using the right tool for the terrain. So let's start big with the heavy hitters that move serious dirt and chew through trees like nothing. So first up, we've got our dedicated forestry mulchers. These are the monsters you see in the big videos online, stuff like a CMI 400 or a Fecon FTX. They're not skid steers with attachments, they're purpose-built machines designed for one thing, clearing huge amounts of land as fast as possible. We're talking 300 to 700 horsepower. Steel tracks, massive cooling systems, and the entire machine is built around the mulching head. There's no quick attach, no swapping buckets, no pretending it's anything else. They exist to destroy brush and trees, plain and simple. You'll see them on pipeline jobs, right away clearing, big commercial sites, and the kind of projects where, where production speed really matters. They can cover 10 acres or more a day when everything lines up right. But here's the catch. They're massive. We're talking over 40,000 pounds. They need commercial hauling, wide load permits, and a support truck. The whole deal. And price-wise, you're in the $300,000 to $500,000 range easily. They make sense for contractors who need extreme production but for most landowners or HOAs, they're just too much machine. So that's where the high flow compact track loaders come in. We're talking like Bobcats, Caterpillar, Takahuchi. These are the machines that you'll see us running here at Brushworks. And it's the sweet spot for 90% of the jobs out there, residential jobs at least. So they've got power, maneuverability, and versatility and most run between 90 and 120 horsepower with hydraulic flow in that 35 to 45 GPM range. So it's basically, it's enough juice to mulch trees up to about six or eight inches thick, and the, they're still nimble in the tighter areas. So you can move them on a gooseneck trailer. They're light enough to not tear up yards, and they leave a clean level finish when the job's done. And the versatility, that's the best part. You can swap out the mulching head for a bucket, a power rake, a grapple, whatever the job needs. And that's why we love them. They do almost everything well, but every machine has its limits. Once you're on taller vegetation or steeper terrain, the CTL starts fighting you. It's low to the ground, so you're always pushing into the material instead of reaching over it. You can't mulch from above. And once the slope gets steep, you're spending more time staying safe than staying productive. And that's where the excavators with mulching heads really shine. Excavator mulchers are all about reach, control, and precision. Instead of pushing into the brush like a skid steer, you can reach out, pull down, and process it from above. It changes everything. You can run heads on anything from an eight ton mini to a 30 ton machine. And you've got options from the FAE, the Fecon, the Promac, the big brands. Because that head is mounted right on the end of the boom, you can work on slopes, over ditches, or around trees without ever moving the machine itself. So that means you're not sliding around, you're not tearing up the soil, and you're not putting the operator in sketchy situations. 
It's slower than a CTL on flat ground, but on rough terrain or anywhere that needs careful selective clearing, the excavator setup wins every single time. If you've got uneven ground, banks, or trees that need precision work, this is the way to go. If the terrain's too steep even for that, then it's time for the robots. Remote controlled mulchers are amazing. They look like little track tanks and they'll go places that no other machine can. And machines like the Green Climber or the FAE RCU will run between 50 and 75 horsepower and they handle slopes up to 60 degrees, which is pretty nuts. You control them from a distance with a, like a handheld remote. So the operator is totally safe and there's no risk of rollover and or or them climbing into danger so they're slower machines but they make up for it by getting into spots where a skid steer an excavator or even the dedicated mulcher can't go at all so we use them for dam faces retention ponds uh, steep embankments anywhere where safety is really important and because they're light and have really low ground pressure they don't tear up the soil or cause erosion they're not built for production speed though. They're built for access and safety in mind first. So when you look at these machines side by side, kind of each one fills its own lane. Dedicated mulchers handle the huge commercial stuff where horsepower and acreage are the name of the game and compact track loaders do most of the everyday work. They're fast, flexible, and efficient. Excavators handle the precision stuff, so they do the slopes, ditches, or the tricky areas where control matters more than speed. And the RC units, they take care of the dangerous and hard to reach spots, spots that nothing else can safely touch. But no one machine does it all. So that's why at Brushworks, we size the job first and bring the right tool for the job every single time. And that's what keeps projects efficient, safe, and looking professional. So if you're in the Cincinnati area and you're thinking about getting some land cleared or some brush managed, check out brushworksco.com. You can see examples of our work, learn about the machines we run, and schedule a quote directly through our site. And hey, if you like this video, you also enjoy the one on your screen right now. It breaks down how we quote forestry mulching jobs and what actually goes into that. So go check that out. And I'll see you there.